Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again it's your boy Fred. I want to welcome every one of you to my YouTube channel and I want to thank you for your support and for those of you that have subscribed, I want to say God bless you for your love. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, mm, <laughs> please just slap the subscribe button and support me and God is going to definitely bless you for, for your <clears throat> cooperation. Um, today we'll be having a lectures on progressions and knowing how to score songs and knowing how to follow um, songs when the songs fall at far when the songs fall at so when the songs fall at do when the songs fall at three I got a lot of questions in my inbox telling me Fred how do I know how to follow um, the progression of a song how do I know when the song fall at the four how do I know when the song fall at the five how do I know when the song is falling at the one how do I know if it is one that I'm going to play in the next face of us each song and I consider it um something very important to do a lecture on and this is just a, a fundamental a very basic normal lecture on that and i believe it's going to help so many of us to get acquainted to it so before we start let's just make do a brief prayer as my custom demand father in the name of jesus we want to thank you for a lovely day like this we want to appreciate you for your love we want to say blessed be your holy name in the name of jesus Lord, as we want to proceed, Lord, in our lectures, Lord, today, Father, may you bless us, grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may be able to comprehend what we are doing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So before I begin, I did a lecture on, on this issue, on Progression 101. And uh, if you have not checked the lecture or you've not watched the lecture, please check my description below. The link is there. So you just click the link and you begin to watch the the lesson on that and um i will do a quick recap on it and be, and we dive straight to the lecture first of all every song is built on progression and knowing how to play how, knowing how to follow progression will really really advance your play and that's what makes you professional and the advanced player they knows the progression of each songs that they play and they know how to improvise in any kind of progression i talked about building on any kind of progression they know how to substitute they know how to improvise they know how to mix notes how to do diverse things how to scale within a progression they know how to build and my emphasis today is just to give us a basic foundational knowledge on how to follow progression first of all for you to be able to follow progression you must have number one a good listening ear a good listening ear this is very 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 important music is all about hearing your ear a deaf a deaf does not know what music for you to be is for you to be very very good at playing your music or your musical instrument you must have a very good music ear and for you to be able to develop your good music ear is to constantly listen to songs difficult songs simple songs complex songs and um, or different kind of genes so when you listen to it it helps you to build it subconsciously you just build your musical ear subconsciously even without knowing so your assignment in building your musical ear is to try to listen to song on a consistent basis on a consistent basis perpetually you are always listening to songs so just get an earphone or a, 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 an earphone and just start listening to songs. Just download as many worship songs. I can remember when I wanted to learn how to play the keyboard and I wanted to learn worship songs because the church is on my neck that I must know how to play my keyboard because we don't have instrumentalists on in our church. So I just had to force myself to learn. What I did was I had to delete every worldly song on my phone, all those foreign worldly songs on my phone, and I have to get worship songs upon worship songs upon worship songs. So my agenda was to try to listen to each and every of the worship songs on my phone and without hesitations that I must know how to play those worship songs equally. So that was what really helped me. So for you to develop a good listening ear, you must be acquainted and you must develop priorities on listening to songs on a daily basis. And not just listening to song and just forget the song. You listen to the songs, try to sing the songs in your mind, try to know what they play in the song, and you try to find out the progression of the songs by just singing it with your heart. 
So this is it. And number two, for you to be able to be very good on progression, you must know the scale by which the song is being played. This is very, very, very important. Every song is played on a scale in the bass. We have blues songs, they are played on blues scales. We have jazz, we have jazz chords when you check on keyboard, they are just played on within, within scales. Every song is played within scales. So for you to be able to score songs, you must know the scales that are used in the songs. Is it the major scales? Is it the minor scales? Is it the pentatonic groups? Is it the Patatonic minor, is it an any kind of scales that you can really talk? Is it on the chromatic? So for you to be able to know how to score the progressions of a song, you must know scales. This is very, 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 very important because if you don't know the scale upon which a song is being built around or a progression is being built around, it is going to give you difficulty for you to be able to score the songs and to know the songs. Like trying to use your Dorian skill to play a, a song that is not within the context of it that trying to use it to play a blue song you can you can you can maneuver your way on it but you won't actually follow the progression of the song if the song is not played within the jurisdiction of the dorian scale so this is very very important that you know your scale you know your and I will give you the five skills that are very important that you know. Number one, your pentatonic. Number two, your major scale. Number three, you have to know your pent pentatonic minor. Number four, you have to know your minor scale. And number five, you have to know your blue scales. These are very important. And your modes, you have to know the, the, the seven modes. This is very, very, very crucial. It's going to help your play a lot. It's going to give you advancement and more knowledge on how to work within the arena of the fretboard. And not just know the scale within a, a, a position. You have to know the scale. This is where the work lies because you have to know a similar scale on diverse positions on the fretboard. So this is very, very, very important. And the last one is that you must know how to find key. Every song or every progression is played on a key. And for you to be able to score the song, you must know the key on which the progression is being played. This key thing is very, very important. If you want to play any songs, with a different key trying to score and you want to score the song if you are trying to song to score a song that the key used in the music was a and you are you are trying to you are playing the music the music is singing on a and you are playing it on c automatically even if you are getting the progression the music it won't sound right it will sound off so it is very very important you know how to to score. So, as I've given you the number one, which is um, the number one, I said it is and, and, and learning a, bit, a, a good listening ear. I told you the, the, this thing. So, for you to know how to find your key, let me just give you a very short, a short example how I did it. Because, but I'm going to do a full teaching concerning that in a short while. Now, learning how to find your key is very simple to me. It is very simple. I don't have difficulties. I can just do my guitar. From head to toe, but any song I can be able to listen to because I've had, I had a good listening ear, I can be able to approach the key. Very except it's a very complex song, it, it may take me time, but definitely I will get the key. So, how you find the key is very simple is by playing the song with your heart, with your heart, with your heart. Now, you listen to song Ancient of Days, as old as you are. That's the lead vocalist, as old as you are, you will never change. Um, uh, automatically, the key is Do. So you just try to find your Do in your fretboard. Just. So this is the key. And sense of day, as old as you. So this, I've, I've automatically gotten the key, and when you listen to songs like You are Yahweh, you are, and you want to find the key, you are Yahweh, no, no, you are Yahweh. See?
It's very simple. That's how. That's the very simplest way of finding the key. And when you find the key, now you try to follow the progression. And following the progression of the song, there are two ways. If you want to make following progression of the song very easy, get a few worship songs that you know they consistently sing in your church. Find a keyboardist or anybody that can play the song for you. You just record the song, then you go home and you try to follow to play the skeletal first, the skeletal progression of the song. Every song has a skeletal. If you don't know anything concerning the skeletal progression of the song, please check down the description. I've done a video concerning that. And um, for you to follow a progression, let me sing Jehovah, you are the most. I like using this as an example because it's a very simple song with a very simple progression. Now, let me. Jehovah, you are. It sounds odd. So, what I did was, I'm just teaching you how to follow the progression without scoring with, his, with the music. Bound Jehovah. Bound Jehovah. This is my fight. It sounds odd. It don't sound clear. And if I still remain in the one, Jehovah, you are the most. It still sounds odd. And um, if I still remain, if I said, okay, let me add the three, nah, which is your me, Jehovah, you are. <laughs> it didn't go, it sounds odd. But if I say, okay, let me add my four, and Jehovah, you are the most. High. You see, now it goes. I added my four, it goes. So, this is how you find your progression. But this is going to take you a lot of time, a lot of time. So, to save time, you have to get a song or a worship song that they have played with an instrument so what you just do is to follow the instrument you play it if the the, the if the the falling tone of the song maybe jehovah is on far you try to listen to it carefully then you follow it to far then you've gotten one then back to do you follow jehovah you are so You've gotten it. So that's how you score your songs. You try to listen to songs and songs upon songs upon songs upon songs until you get it. Um, lastly, before I round up, let me say something that is very, very important. Progression, in fact, to me, progression is music. Progression is music. Progression is music. Um, I want to give you an assignment. In your church, you know the kind of songs that you guys sing popularly every day, every time, every moment, and the pattern of your worship. So what you just do is you write down each and every of the progression of the song. You go home and you try to find the progression of that song. You write down the songs and try to find the progression of that song. And when you are finding it, make sure you play it repeatedly. After learning the skeleton, the skeletal um, progression of the song, then you try to find a way to build around the progression. This will enhance the level of your play and give you more, 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 more meat in it. So this is very, very important. And don't never trivialize the importance of repetition. Repetition will help you enhance. Like the song we sc I scored last week in my in my church, our choir, I've forgotten the progression because I've not been repeating the progression for some times and <laughs> I've forgotten it. But but if if you can play the song within just a few minutes, I can I can still recall everything that I did with the song. So it's very very important you you get acquainted with the most popular played familiar songs that your song your church basically did. And this I pray this tip is going to help somebody. So it's a lot of work that you have to put together to get this. So all you just have to do, make sure you learn your skills, make sure you have a good listening ear, make sure you know how to find your key and make sure lastly, 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 make sure you know your skills. These are very important. And as you do that, God bless you. Lastly, if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's your boy Fred. Stay in touch. And this lesson very powerful more than this. Love you all. God bless you.